Hi, this is Harish here. Welcome to DB2 LUW Tips and Tricks video tutorial part 107. In this video tutorial, I'm going to talk about how the restore utility can do version upgrade but cannot do fix pack update of the database. The scripts, uh, the data files that I'm using uh, in this video uh, is available for free download at db2lwacademy.blogspot.in. This slide talks about the problem scenario and solution. The problem scenario is we want to demonstrate how the restore utility can do version upgrade but not fix pack update of the database. So I'm not talking about this scenario to, to upgrade your database version or fix pack, applying fix pack onto the database like that. So here I'm discussing about, I'm having a database backup image version 10.5 and version 11.1. .1. So those uh, backup images are already available. So in case one, what I'm doing is I'm taking a 11.10.5 uh, backup image and I'm restoring it onto the server, which is on version 11.1.1.1. So 11.1 uh, mod pack one, fix pack one. Similarly, in case two, I am what I'm doing is I'm taking a backup image, which is in 11.1 and I'm restoring it on that backup image into server 11.1.1.1. Now, uh, as expected, in case one, what will happen is the restore utility will be able to perform a version upgrade for you implicitly. And also the fix pack update is also kind of an implicit one. So what do, what do I mean by that is um, after the restoration, if I go and connect to the database, I should be able to use the, the, the modified features or fix pack specific features also because I'm do, I'm doing a version upgrade and the fix pack also is implicit. Whereas in case two, where I have the backup image of 11.1 .1 and I restore it onto server 11.1.fixpack1. .1. So there uh, the, the restore utility will not do any fix pack level changes. It will not apply any fix pack level changes to the database. So in case two, I have to use UPDV utility the DB2 UPDV triple one utility to apply the fix pack level changes onto the database. Otherwise it will be just be in 11.1 .1 version only. So let us um, go into an example. So that way it will be somewhat clear uh, as to what I'm saying here. Um, okay. Um, so here I have uh, one instance DB2 INST4. So I'll show you the level. So you can see that it is 10.5 fix pack 8, right? So you can see here fix pack 8. So this is in 10.5 fix pack 8. It already has the database list DB directory. Okay. So there is a, a database created fully. Okay. And I have also taken uh, uh, a backup of that. So you can see the backup is available, full uh, database backup. So this database is in 10.5, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this database and restore it onto the instance db2 inst1, right? So this is version 11.1.1.1. So fix pack one, mod pack one, right? Um, so what is the command? So it's a very simple command. So db2 inst okay. Way to type in, I'll just have that. So I'll copy that. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to restore db bull from that location to here, okay? It's a simple command restore db db name from location on the, the the target path. Okay. Since our instances are different, we have to do that. Okay. And I think it's happening. And since it is all so now from 10.5 to 11.1, .1, so which means it is like a fix pack, not, not fix pack, it's like a version upgrade, right? So the complete version of the source database and the target server on which I'm installing is completely different. The versions are different 10.5 to 11.1, .1, which is our case one. Okay. So here you will see that. Let me go to the, uh, let it happen. So it's going to take some time, I guess. So, okay. Yes. You hyphen DB2 I N S T one DB2 I N S T one DB2 list utilities okay yeah the restore is happening so it's it's going to take some time okay the restore has not yet started also not sure oh so i should say show detail okay okay yeah so 131 bytes and 
I think it's going to happen. So it's going to take some time. So we'll wait for that. Okay. Uh, let me exit in the meantime. So the restore is going on. So what I mean by that is, so uh, so after doing the restore, I'll connect to the database and I'll show you this is versions which I have uh, I have uh, showed uh, the usage of this table uh, in 106 tip 106. So and also I'll execute mand report dot current apps. Okay. This is a routine which is which has some specific features for uh, fix back one. So let's do that and uh, it's going to take some time. It's going to take a long time because a version upgrade is usually a complicated process. A lot of things are happening in the background. So it's going to take some time. Okay. So in the meantime, I'll, I'll show you the other one as well. So here I have the INST3 instance so which is in 11.1 ga so 11.1 0.0 so like a uh, no mod pack no fix pack okay 11. pure one 11 .1. so here also i have another uh, database list db directory the tiger database okay and i have taken the backup of that as well so you can see that the tiger database backup is already available so we can restore that also and and check it up okay so this is taking a very long time as it is uh, a version upgrade, please be patient. I request your patience, please. Uh, okay, in the meantime, I can talk about this environment. So this is like a virtual machine, so Oracle VM virtual box. So my, my base OS is like, or what do you call like a host OS is Windows 10. Whereas my guest OS is Ubuntu or LU, LU, LU Ubuntu or Lubuntu. So it is a lightweight uh, environment of Ubuntu, which is a Linux based OS. So, uh, so all the AX kind of things apply here also. So, okay, so it's taking a very, very long time. Let's go see what has been done. So far, okay. Uh, okay, did it complete? No. Yeah, this is one weird thing happening. Uh, okay. Let me just say list utilities. Nothing is there. Okay, DB2 list applications. Okay. So the bull database is there. So DB2 list active databases. We'll have to wait for some time. So it, it, it is doing it. So we'll have to wait it out. So probably the restore is complete. Now the upgrade is happening. I think that is that is what is happening now. So that's why when I say here list utilities, I don't get anything. So that doesn't mean the restore. Uh, see, because the restore got completed and the upgrade is happening, right? See, because we are in 10.5, the, the backup image is 10.5. So when you're restoring a 10.5 backup image into 11.1.1, apart from the restore activity, the upgrade database activity is also happening. Okay. So so I think that is why it is when I run this list utilities, it's not showing now, right? But you, it showed uh, a couple of minutes before, but it's not showing now, right? Uh, I think it's because of that. Okay. So, but it is taking a very long time. I don't know. I never thought that it would take this much time. Uh, but but we are in a virtual machine. Things can be slow. Uh, and it is also a, a, it is also a heavy, you know, it's, it's not a very light process that we are running. It's a version upgrade. So it's going to take some time. Okay. Wow. Let's check how much free memory is there like that. Yeah, oh, it's using one GB of uh, yeah one GB of RAM. I think there is about two 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 point five GB of RAM is there. 
it is uh, of which it is trying to use about 1 GB like that and there is no swap allocated completely I think that could also be an issue yeah now if swap space, if swap space was there probably it, it will run somewhat faster I guess so okay so the, I have to do something on the virtual machine side uh, but that's okay uh, if the restore gets completed that will be fine for us as of now okay Yeah, you see that now. See, run stats is running on the database bull, right? So, so it is doing that upgrade. Okay. Think. Yeah. So, so you can see that database was restored and then successfully upgraded to the current release. So, the next thing is to connect to the database and uh, run the run these two queries. We'll copy that and come back here and paste that so you can see from 10.5 fix pack 8 i have shown you in the last video from 10.5 fix pack 8 it got upgraded to 11.1.1.1 and if i run this mount current apps this is fine so uh, i mean i can do okay i will do connect reset and i will go and connect as user db2 inst4 using db2 inst4 and i can show you that okay this should be running perfect so no issues so i'll do connect reset and i'll clear now now the next thing that we are going to do is restore restore the database tiger right which is on 11.1 .1. see tiger is on 11.1 .1, fix pack 0 right so we did version upgrade everything went through fine now what we are going to do is restore the tiger database which is of the same version base versions are same but only the fixed pack level changes are, are are there so let's see how how the database is now going to behave okay okay about 81 MB yeah 81 MB okay man these restores are taking such a long time I don't know I don't feel like I have 8 GB RAM okay so let's do that we'll have to be patient for some time I'm very sorry but what that's the speed I have here as of now okay so you can see that the tiger database is from inst3 instance which is actually 11.1 .1. so earlier we did uh, version upgrade using by means of restore utility and everything ran uh, perfect so uh, so the database itself was at 11.1.1.1 .1 so now now this is also done so let's connect to let's connect to tiger database sorry let's connect to the tiger database and uh, we'll run the same thing so tiger database we will we'll run the version query so you can see that it is in 11.1 .1. so it is not in 11.1.1 .1. see there that is what i'm saying so it is not in 11.1.1.1 .1 because the base the source database was in 11.1 .1. i restored it onto a, uh, a server which is having 11.1.1.1 .1 but still the date the fixed pack level changes is not there that's what this means so uh, so this one also will fail so like I, i'll show you that what okay it says about some authorization i think that's fine uh, Okay, but I use db2 inst. Okay, okay, I am incorrect. So I have to, I have to. So this one will show you a different one. I'll show you that. Uh, I'm sorry about that. So I have to run inst3 here. Connect as inst3, and then run the current apps. Now see, this says the up 
new PDB tool has not been used to update the routine definition. So from 11.1 database backup image, if I restore it onto 11.1.1.1, you have to run the UPD utility for applying the fixed pack changes. But if you are taking a backup of 10.5 and restoring it onto 11.1.1.1, you don't need to do that because the restore is also happening, upgrade is also happening, and the fix pack update is also happening all in one go. Okay, so this is what I, wa I, I wanted to give you as a tip in this video tutorial. Hope this information was useful to you. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Uh, please subscribe to my channel, youtube.com slash db2luwacademy. See you in the next video tutorial. Until then, bye-bye.